Today I'm showing you how to make a drop like Galantis. But before we start, make sure you get the new GarageBand update and then go into your sound library. So I have downloaded all these ones except from the guitar one, because I don't play the guitar. So make sure you also get these ones, because we're going to use some drum sounds for this song. So when you're done, go into your drums, set your tempo to 128 beats per minute. And just keep 8 sections. And then choose electronic and electronic pop. Now have the volume, just a tiny bit higher, the middle, and add like half of the treble. Then go into edit and put up these two claps. And then loop it. And now go to the track view, click on loops, and go down to Festival Kick 5 and just drag it out. And have the volume of this kick a little bit lower. And now you can turn off the metronome if you want to. Also remove two kicks, so between 8 and 9. And now add a new drum. This time choose Modern 909. Have the volume in the middle, add half of the treble, and just a tiny bit of reverb. Then go into Edit, put out something, go out, drag it out to 3 and go in again. And now you're going to put out this hi-hat. So zoom in a little bit. Like this. And of course, loop it. Go back to the track view. And now click on loops. Choose instruments and tambourine. And drag out tambourine 4. Start by removing it to 3, and then remove it to the third line before 3. Now copy this one, paste it at 3, at 5, and 7. But this one at 5, you're actually going to remove it so that it starts one line after 5, the bigger line. And have the volume on the tambourine in the middle. And now add a keyboard, choose synth bass and exoplanet. And turn these knobs like this. Now have the volume a little bit lower and add just a tiny bit of extra bass. And now make a clip from 1 to 5 and then go into edit. And lay these bass notes below C3, and zoom in a little bit, make it half size, and actually zoom in even more. So all together. And I'll loop it. And add a new keyboard. And this time choose other and P bass. Have the volume a little bit lower and add full treble. And now make a clip from one to five again. And then go into edit again and add these notes over C2. Zoom in a lot, make it four times smaller, and also two notes before five. So from two, Now loop it 
and now add a new keyboard. This time choose Keyboards and Grand Piano. Have the volume almost in the middle and add half of the treble. Now make a clip from 1 to 5 again. Go into Edit again. And I'll lay these chords over C2 and zoom in a lot. Make it four times smaller. So, all together. And of course loop it. Now click on this one, and on copy. Add a new keyboard. And this time, choose Other and Brass Ensemble. And now paste it here. But you want to have like a third of the volume or maybe even lower and add half of the treble and now add a keyboard for the lead choose other again and strings staccato have the volume in the middle add half of the treble and also have the reverb in the middle now make a clip from 1 to 5 and then go in and add this melody around C4 Zoom in really much and make it four times smaller. And I'll zoom out, switch this back, click on the screen, select them all, click on the green ones, copy and paste it at 3 but remove all these notes from the one just before 4 and add some new notes so all together Now loop it, now click on this one and on copy and then add a new keyboard, choose synth classics and electric marimba, turn off this one and turn these knobs like this. Add the volume a little bit below middle, at about half of the treble and also some reverb and now just paste the melody and add a new keyboard choose other and flute add the volume a little bit below middle add half of the treble and half of the reverb and now just paste the melody but go into settings and go up one octave and add a new keyboard this time, choose FX and Grid Bass. Turn off this one. Turn the first three all the way down to the left, and this one like this. Go into the settings, turn off the echo, add the volume in the middle, and add half of the treble. And now, paste the melody. And add a new keyboard. Choose Synth Bass. 
and kindergarten base. And turn these knobs like this. Have the volume a little bit lower and add some reverb. And now just paste the melody. And add a last keyboard. And actually this time we're gonna use a sampler. And you're gonna record this sound with your mouth. And now have the volume somewhere around the middle. Maybe I'll have to change it later. Add some treble and remove the reverb. Now just paste the melody. And on the settings, I will have to go down three octaves to make it sound right. Like this. So if you do this sound by yourself, try to make the same note as me. So you don't do like a lower one or a higher. Because then it will sound a little bit bad. And then on your settings, maybe you will have to go up some semitones or down some semitones to make it sound right. So just listen to this sound together with the melody and make sure it sounds good. So now go to the track view. So actually I'm gonna increase the volume just a little bit on the sample sound. So you don't wanna hear it too much, but you wanna hear it a little bit just to give it a texture, the melody. And I'll add a new loop, choose instruments and vocals, and choose the highest one, Arcade Summer Box and put it at 5, click on it, settings, and drag up the speed to twice. Now have the volume a little bit lower than middle. Also add a new loop, choose instruments and this time all drums. Go down to long crash symbol 3, and just drag it out. You can remove it to 3. Have like a third of the volume and full treble. Now copy this and put it one line after five, the bigger line. So all together it will sound like this. That's about it, so thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you want to, and good luck with your song.